National 5 Biology students, let's do this past paper question together. This one says the gas exchange surfaces in fish are called gills. Gills absorb oxygen from the water. Suggest two features of gills that increase the efficiency of absorption. Now, in this kind of question, students will often go, ah, I've not learned about fish or gills or anything like that, so I don't know how to answer this. But this is asking you to apply your knowledge that you have from other circumstances to this new uh, circumstance, okay? So we know that in the lungs of a human, in the alveoli of an animal, that there are certain features that increase the efficiency of absorption. So we're just going to apply those same features to this one, okay? And there are three main features that you guys need to remember for your exam. The first one is a large surface area. Okay, the second one is to have thin walls. And the third one, you don't need to give three, but the third one is to have an extensive blood supply. Okay, so there are three options for you to put for this. Quite often when you get this in the exam, it will maybe give you one of those and ask for one of the other ones or something similar. But in this one, we need two. So it's well worth learning all three of these, okay? And, and actually from that topic 2.7, these are the three main things that if you if you learn those, they are really going to help you when it comes to exam questions because they do like to ask about this fairly regularly. Okay, part two, uh, part B, sorry, it says an investigation into the effect of water temperature and the breathing rate of fish was carried out. The results are shown in the table. We have to use these results to draw a conclusion for the investigation. Now, we know that a conclusion always relates back to the aim, okay? So let's find out what the aim was again. The effect of water temperature on the breathing rate of fish, okay? So that means that water temperature and breathing rate should be in our answer here, in our conclusion here, okay? So what happens? Well, as the water temperature increases, we can see it increasing in this table here. What happens to the average breathing rate? It also increases, okay? Those numbers get bigger. So that's all we put for our conclusion. As the water temperature increases, the average breathing rate increases. That's all we need to put to get the mark there. You actually don't need probably average there. I've just done that because that's what was in the table. But breathing rate was what was up here. So that's all you have to say in your answer there. Okay. Okay, folks, hope that helps. I'll see you in the next one.